The only person who had absolute control over his death was Jesus Christ. I have power to lay it down and I have power to take it again. When he was on that cross, we read he bowed his head and gave up the whole ghost. He didn't droop, it didn't droop or fall. He bowed his head. He stepped into death, completely in control of the very moment at which he would depart life. And he steps right out of it again, out of death. It comes to life. I have power to take it again. And so he says, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me shall never die. And so Paul goes into this city and goes into other areas and he preaches this message of one who has power over death because he has risen from the dead by an act of his own will. And that brings such hope that no other religion can match. And those that are listening properly, they're thinking, wow, what is this? And they're drawn in. And the Spirit works and they're converted. And therefore they go forward into other regions, into other territories, and they proclaim, read the book of Acts, they proclaim the resurrection of Christ. It's constantly on their lips. The Son of God lived, died, and rose again. So all the fears of men are abolished in that one reality, Jesus Christ rose from the dead. If he did that, he can do anything. 